What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Kevo Zilla back with another video, guys. This is going to be the top five best meta weapons to use right now in Warzone 2 and multiplayer across the board. You guys already know my values work across the board, all right? Top five meta weapons after the most recent bombarding that we got. They just bombarded us with like nerfs galore. They just, ugh. They, we could just, they can't just let us just rock out. But anywho, all right, you see them the TAC 56, the Chimera. The Vaznev 9K, the Hemlock, of course, right now the best AR in the game. All right, I'm shocked that they know how broken this is and they just, they're leaving it. They're just leaving it. It's, it's crazy, but I'm guessing it's because it's still new and they just, they wouldn't let us rock out with it a little while longer. I don't know, but this thing is just crazy broken. And the Lockman sub, aka MP5. I can't even recall how many times or how many values I brought you guys on this channel with this weapon, but I still decided to add it because it is top meta right now. It is in the top, and this is my top five. All right, these weapons right here are just crazy. All right, now before I jump into it, a little disclaimer for any of those of you who are new or you know old and still question how and why I tuned the way I tune. I'm not gonna go too much into details. Long story short. I use Stripe Pack and Zen, you use Stripe Pack and Zen. That's why you clicked on the video, all right? So I let these devices do its thing. I stay clear. I don't even worry about anything recoil, all right? I stay away from recoil steadiness, recoil smoothness, all of that. So I pretty much max tune for anything else, like I max ADS speed, max you know damage range and all that, all right? You're going to see exactly what it is I'm talking about. Let's jump straight into the TAC-56 setup, all right? 60 round mag, 5.56 five, high velocity rounds, for bullet velocity, don't even worry about that kind of damage range, all right? Because I max tuned this anyway for max damage range and max bullet velocity. You see that? Next up, the underbarrel is the FSS Shark Fin 90. You're going to see this here on this channel. You're going to see me throw this on dang near all my guns, all right? This is pretty much a free attachment, guys. This is this attachment is the best underbarrel in the game, all right? Trust me. Max tuned it for max ADS speed and max aim walking speed always on all my guns if I can. I will. All right. Next is the muzzle. I see some people rocking the, the Harbinger. Um, it's to each their own. These two would be ideal the best. I, I use them both. I brought you know both values from time to time on this channel um, using either or. But honestly, I prefer the Echoless 80 because it's just a lot smoother and, and quicker for me. Like it's just, I don't know. I feel a lot faster when I ADS and when I move. Maybe that's just, you know, maybe that's just me. But as you can see, that con, the extra con you get with the D20. That aim walking speed, and eh, maybe that's it. It just slows you down a bit, but I don't know. You know, I'm a fast paced, you know, player. I like to just be in there, in their spawn, in your face. I want ADS before anybody else, so I go with the Echo List 80. To me, it just feels right. It feels smooth, right? Sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. Of course, max tune this for max ADS speed and max bullet velocity. Next, FSS V Laser, all right? Giving us aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. Max tune this because now we're able to tune lasers right after the most recent update. So max tune it for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. This is the TAC-56. Next up, I got the Chimera. 45 round mag. There goes that Shark Fin 90 again. Same thing, same tuning. Aim down sight speed max and max aim walking speed. No muzzle. The barrel is the Phoenix, giving us damage range, bullet velocity, hit fire accuracy, and recoil control. Max tuning for max aim walking speed and max damage range. Laser is the VLK laser giving us aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. Max tune this for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. My optic of choice is the Cronus Mini Pro. Yes, I said Cronus. Of course, I had to max tune this for max ADS speed and I leave the bottom alone. I don't go close. I don't go far. It's not my thing. I don't enjoy it. This is the Chimera setup. Next up is the Vaznev 9K. This thing has been making its way up to the top. This thing is pretty good and it hits. No magazine, no ammunition. There she goes again with the Shark Fin 90. Boom, for max ADS speed and max aim walking speed. No muzzle. The barrel is the 381 right here or the Kaz, whatever. Giving us damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. Max tuning for max aim walking speed and max damage range. Laser, of course, the V laser again, max tuned for sprint to fire speed and max aim down sight speed. The stock I'm going with is the Markeev R7 stock, giving us crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. 
max tune it for max ADS speed and max aim walking speed. Last but not least, true tack grip is the rear grip, giving a sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. Of course, max tune it for max ADS speed and max sprint to fire speed. You see where I'm going with all my attachment tuning. It's just speed, speed, speed galore. I'm staying away from anything recoil. Don't need no help whatsoever at all. Not even the slightest. You don't need it. Let the strike pack and Zen do his job. Next up, we got the mother load, the hemlock itself. The most broken gun in the game right now. 45 round mag, no ammunition. There you go, that shark fin 90 again. Same exact tuning, max ADS speed and max aim walking speed. The muzzle is the Echolist 80. Max tuning for max aim down sight speed and max bullet velocity. Next up is the Fielder T50 barrel, giving us damage range, bullet velocity, hit fire accuracy, and recoil control. Max tuned in for max aim walking speed and max damage range. No laser. Choice of optic is the Cronus Mini Pro. Yes, like I said, I call it Cronus. I know it's Cronin. Max tuned in for max aim down sight speed. Left the bottom alone. Now, my values will work for any of these. That is the Slimline Pro, the Mini, the Cronin Mini Red Dot or the Mini Pro, as well as the AMOP V4. I see some people rocking the AMOP V4. My values will work if you are rocking that one as well. But my favorite is the Blue Dot, which is the Cronin Mini Pro. Last but not least, the Lockman Sub, aka MP5, 40 round mag. Again, with the Shark Fin 90, same old, same old, max tune for aim down sight speed and aim walking speed. No muzzle. The barrel is the Falcon, giving us movement speed and aim down sight speed. Don't worry about the cons. They're irrelevant. I tune it anyway for max aim walking speed and max aim down sight speed. Laser is the VLK laser. Max tune for sprints of fire speed and aim down sight speed. Now, here is where I made things a little bit different. All right, I'm going in with a stock. I'm going with the FT mobile stock, giving us aiming stability, crouch movement speed, and aim down sight speed. The reason being is because you don't need an optic. You don't need a muzzle, to be completely honest with this weapon. You don't need ammunition, and you don't need a rear grip because the only, the only two rear grips you get just gives you recoil control and flinch resistant, which you really don't need. So best bet is just to go with the mobile stock. You can also go with the stock list, but this is going to really make your gun just go, go everywhere. You can still make a beam. I've done it in the past, but it's a little slight <laughs> uncontrollable. All right, bullets does go everywhere, spread out like crazy. So the mobile stock is the way to go. And of course, I max tune it for max aim down sight speed and max aim walking speed. Now I'm going to jump into a private game. You already know, shoot at a wall, bring you guys a value for both 120 field of view on independent and affected. All right, guys, so I'm here in a private game. All right, starting off with the TAC 56. You see I'm already vertical negative three, horizontal is a two. Always going to start off first with affected, all right, at 120 field of view, all right. You guys already know I am on console. I am on PS5, all right. Check this out. See that? Beautiful. All bullets hit one spot. See that? Literally one spot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the values. But first, again, one last time, negative three vertical, two horizontal. I'm going to reset the values to zero, zero. Okay, I'm going to go to, oh, it's in graphics. I'm going to change this to independent. Okay, now you can see zero, zero. Now I'm sorry if I zero, zero, see if there's any recoil. If there is, I will just adjust and I'll be back with the updated values for independent. Let's see together. All right, so obviously I would need to adjust. Be right back. All right, you guys did the tuning. Check this out. TAC 56, 120 field of view on independent. Vertical 2, horizontal 2. Check it out. Complete beam. Again, that is a 2 vertical, 2 horizontal. TAC 56, 120 field of view, independent. Next up, we got the Chimera. All right, at a negative six vertical, zero horizontal. Chimera, this is 120 field of view on affected. Check this out, beam. You guys see that? All bullets hit one spot, okay? That's a negative six vertical, zero horizontal. Now I'm going to do the same thing. 
graphics, change to 120 field of view on independent, reset the values back to zero, zero, move over here, test. And if I have recoil, I will come back with a beam. Check it out, zero, zero. Let's see. And no, no, look at that. It look, it's even better on independent than it is on affected. But maybe if I shoot again at negative six, it'll look way better than that. All right, let's see real quick. I have time to, to try it out. So let's go back to affected, all right? Let's bring it back to a negative six, okay? So that was zero, zero on independent, all right? Value zero, zero, literally a beam. Beautiful weapon profile, beautiful, beautiful, right? Let's move over right here next to it, okay? Negative six, verticals are horizontal. This is going to be 120 field of view unaffected again. Check it out. Yep, there we go. See that? Looks identical now. Yeah, same exact results. There you go. Boom, but that is something else. Next up, we have the Vaznev 9K. You can see vertical is negative four, horizontal is a zero. All right, let's move up to a 15 because this is an SMG. All right, boom. Again, vertical is negative four, horizontal is a zero. Check it out, 120 field of view, unaffected. Doesn't even move, check that out. Look at that, insane, insane guys. All right, let's move back again. Move over right here, because this is where I'm going to test 120 field of view on independent. So let's do so, boom, independent. All right, let's reset the values back to uh, zero, zero. Okay, and let's test it out. Hopefully we don't have to adjust, but if I need to, I will do so and come back with a beam. Let's see. Maybe I could bring it down one time because it looks good, but it looked like it went up. So let's go to a one vertical. Let's get some ammo back. I won't cut it because it looks simple enough. Okay, let's see. 15 right here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. I'll do it on this wall just so you guys can see clearly one last time. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that. Done. Now for the hemlock, guys, just like before in my most recent video, use the cast off 545 web profile. Vertical is negative eight. Horizontal is a four. This is going to be for the game breaking hemlock. Check this out. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll move over slightly right here. Show you guys one last time. I'm running out of wall space over here. Again, negative eight vertical, four horizontal, hemlock. Beautiful. See that? All bullets hitting one spot. It's going to be kind of tough because it hasn't been updated with this weapon profile. This is a brand new weapon, obviously. So you got to give Collection Mind some time and they will add this weapon profile and we should be golden then. Now going to be switching over to 120 field of view on independent, resetting the values, but I'm thinking it's possibly going to be the opposite of this, but we shall see, all right? I'm going to reset everything just to a zero, zero, all right? And let's see where the recoil goes. Let's get a full mag. All right. If I get recoil, you already know I will adjust. Let's, uh, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to this wall right here. All right. May have to um, back out and come back into a cleaner game. Let's see. Yep. It goes down and off to the left. So I will have to adjust. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Check this out for the hemlock. Cast off 545 at a negative three for the vertical, two for the horizontal, 120 field of view on independent. Check her out. Beautiful. Look at that. Huh? Stunning. Just straight stunning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Lockman sub, aka MP5, is going to be for 120 field of view on affected, and then you already know what comes next. Vertical is a negative three, horizontal is a five. Check this out. 
complete laser beam. See that all bullets hit one spot. Now you already know I'm going to go to graphics independent reset the values to a zero zero. All right. Now maybe it should be a beam. All right. Last time I checked, I believe this web profile was spot on, but let's see if that's still the case. If it's not, you already know I'll adjust. I got you guys. Don't worry. All right, you guys, I done it. Check it out. Lockman sub MP5 vertical four, horizontal four, 120 field of view on independent. Check this out. You guys see that all bullets hit one spot. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. There you have it. As always, take care, everyone. Till next time.